What's going on everybody? Today's video, we're gonna be laying up one of our three-piece diffusers. So you can see we got the molds out and ready to go. Now these are a relatively simple layup. Anybody with some experience uh, making carbon fiber parts could probably just look at one of these finished and kind of, you know, roughly know how they're made. But, you know, I realize a lot of people watch this uh, that aren't very familiar with composites. So we're gonna be going over these start to finish. Now a quick note on our diffusers. I'm fine showing you how I make them because like I just mentioned, how they're made isn't anything spectacular. But the shape of our diffusers has a bunch of R&D, CFD development into them. The shape was developed by JKF Aero. Um, it's an aerodynamics consulting company probably better known as Kyle Engineers on YouTube. And if you know who he is, you know that he is a former Mercedes F1 aerodynamicist. So yes, our diffusers were designed by a former Mercedes F1 aerodynamicist. So even if you make your own diffuser, the exact way we make ours, you can't make our shape diffuser. So I hope that all kind of makes sense. So these things were ran in CFD on an S550 chassis Mustang and a C6 Corvette at different ride heights, different rakes, uh, even different yaw angles, both flat floor and non-flat floor configurations. We went through dozens of shapes before we landed on these ones. So enough about the diffuser itself. Let's get into laying them up.
All right, guys, there you have it. How we do one of our three-piece modular diffusers. The full modular diffuser, actually, mine's off my car right now. Let's go, I'll show you that real quick. So, you know, here's the top side of mine with all the brackets and mounting on it. So the full five-piece, you get the extra outer tunnels and the little canards on the bottom. Um, my exhaust blows right here. And you can see I got a quick hook set up to get it up under the race car. Um, but it's done the exact same way, just extra pieces, hence why we call it modular. All right, so at this point, you know, I just gotta put some hardware with it, box it up, and ship it out. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.